This is John Hupalo. Welcome to My College Corner. You've heard me talk about my daughter, Emily, who's about to leave for her junior year of college. And I remember the anxiety around packing and moving her into that tiny little room freshman year. I asked her to join me today to share her experience packing for college. Emily, welcome to My College Corner. Thank you. Emily, what would be the best piece of advice that you can give kids who are packing for their first year of college today? So for me, the most important thing about moving into the new dorm room was making sure that to bring things that make you feel comfortable. For me, I brought a lot of pictures and wall decorations to make me feel more at home. Most schools ban things like candles, but a cute lamp and curtains can go a long way in making the room feel more comfortable. I also rented a micro fridge, which is a microwave on top of a small refrigerator. If your school has this option, I would highly recommend you rent one. This way, you can make sure you store all your favorite foods and easily in your room. With regards to clothes, I brought most of my clothes from home, but I didn't buy any new clothes until fall break of freshman year. I was happy I did that because then I got a feel for what I'd want to wear. A lot of schools tell you what to expect to find in your dorm room, like a bed, dresser, and closet, but it's important that you look for things that they don't mention, like a trash can or a fan, because you'll want to bring something like that. My freshman year, I brought a printer, but I ended up not using it because most of my papers were turned in electronically, or I used the library printer because I ended up doing most of my schoolwork there. Now, that's great. Um, do you have any other advice for students who are thinking about how they're going to start relating with their roommate and what it will be like to live on a college campus? Yeah, so at the beginning of um, the year, make sure you go to all your dorm meetings and activities in order to get to know the people you're living with. If you're living with a roommate, be respectful of their space and discuss topics um, like when you normally go to bed or wake up. Having good communication is key to being a good roommate. And everybody certainly wants to be a good roommate. And our guest on My College Corner, Dean, Dan Welter, who's the Associate Dean of Students at Washington State University, talked a lot about this. And he made the same point you did. Be a good roommate, be respectful, and all will go well. Well, Emily, thanks so much for sharing these tips and great ideas today. To my fellow parents, um, let me say this, uh, particularly for those with a child going off to college for the first time. Take a nice deep breath and enjoy this special time with your family. The four years will go very quickly. And remember also that it's actually never too late to start saving for future college expenses. Saving a dollar today is better than borrowing one tomorrow.